hey if you are writing long matlab scripts multiple variables at output and then getting confused in identifying which variable means what then this is the right video for you here in this video we are going to get a specific user defined output text for specific variables so that whatever variable we are going to get it will be easier for us to identify so without wasting time let's quickly jump to the video hey welcome to another video on video lecture series on matlab tutorials here we are going to learn how to plot a specific text with our calculated output so for that purpose let me write a simple script first so this is our simple script what i am going to do in this script uh, i have a radius of circle r height 3 so from that radius i am calculating diameter from here i am calculating circumference here i am calculating the area of circle and then i am calculating volume of a cylinder of height h and radius r so this is what i am going to calculate using this script file so first let's just run the script file so when i am approaching to run first it will ask me to save the file so let me quickly save this file to a specific folder i have named this file as output and when we run this file we will get this various outputs so basically when you are writing a long scripts and you are calculating multiple variables at some point of time it's being very confusing that uh, what do you define as c what is a what is d h r so when there are long list of variables at that time it is difficult to identify what exactly these variables are so at that time you can display some specific text with this calculated output so now we are going to learn that how we can do these things for that there is a simple command which is known as disp disp so let me implement that thing in this script and then we'll understand what is the difference so first of all what i want to display i want to show that i am doing a calculation of circle so for that i'll write the command so this line means this command is going to print as it is text in the output side now let me add few more lines which i want to have at output i just want to place this dashed line so that is why i am using this dashes now what i am going to do i am going to define what this r is and what this h is so in this two line what i have did is in the single inverted comma whatever i have written it will be printed as it is in output so radius space centimeter space is equal to so this thing will be represented in output as it is so after this there is another thing that is number to string num to str so whenever i write any variable in to bracket so the calculated value or pre specified value whatever the value is being stored for that particular variable that value is being represented over here so now let us just check what we are going to get using this disp command let me write few more things because over here i have just mentioned radius r and height h so i have mentioned only these two things these four things we are calculating here so let's add a single line space and then write all these four calculated variables so let me quickly add the script for that 
So the script for that looks like this. The meaning of this line is whatever I have written in between these two inverted commas, right? It will represent there as it is. So I have written nothing. So it will add a single line space in between the output of this line and the output of this line. Next, it's diameter, number to string. Which variable is calculation of diameter? It is D. So I have mentioned over here a D. Then again, number to string. The next variable is C. Over here, I am calculating circumference of circle. Then I am calculating area. So the output of area will be represented over here. And then at finally, we have the volume of cylinder. Now I don't want to see output of each of these lines. So what I'll do, I'll add semicolons at the end of each line and then I'll run this thing. But before uh, I'll run this thing, I'll just clear everything. And now let's run and we'll see what output we are actually getting using this disk command. So see, this is what we are getting in output. The output of this line number 8 is this calculation of circle. The output of line number 9, only dash, is here. Then radius space centimeter is equal to C. That is represented as it is. And the value of variable R whatever it is, it's being presented over here. Over here, line number 12 represent a blank space. So here we have a blank line in between. Then diameter in centimeter and is equal to, so that is as it is. Then number to string D. So the calculated value of D will be represented over here. So here we have 10. So likewise, all the four variables with a proper syntax. So using this type of disk command, whenever we are going to write long scripts, multiple variables we are calculating. So to create ease in identifying which variable represents what value, we can use this disk command. Hey, for more information on currently ongoing video series or latest information about upcoming webinars and videos or expert talks, Keep checking our channel's page. There you will find all the latest and relevant information about our channel. In next video, we are going to learn something interesting about MATLAB. For that, stay connected to the YouTube channel. And if you want to learn anything more on MATLAB, just write that thing in comments below. If I know, I will try to make video on that topic. So until we meet again in our next video, till that time, bye bye.